Welcome back aliens, my name is Devin Reddy and let's continue with this series on Python. Now till this point we have talked about loops, while loop, for loop and then with those beautiful keywords and in this video we'll draw some patterns, okay? Normally if you are in college or if you are learning a programming, this is important because it will improve the way you think. Programming is all about solving a problem, right? So you have to understand the problem statement and you have to put that in a code. So mentally in your mind, you'll be having those uh, solutions ready, but that will be in an abstract format. You have to implement that on your machine with the help of code. So what we'll do is we'll try to do some patterns so that it will improve the way you think about, about logic. So what I will do is initially we'll do this. In fact, yeah, I know this is the assignment question you had in the last, last, last video. So we want to print this pattern. Of course, everyone have their own way of doing this. And what, what you can also simply do is you can print this multiple hash multiple times, right? So I want to print this. So what I will do is I will simply, so if you want to do that, it's very simple, just print hash 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 four times and then you can do the same okay let me just do that here okay and then you can so by doing this you can see we got four hash right so at least we got the first stuff but then what if i say you, you cannot use you, you can only use one hash in one print of course you can you can draw the entire box using five four uh, print statement but let's say if you want to print only one hash within one print so what I want is I don't want to have multiple hash here I just want to have one hash because if I run this code now you can see we got one hash I want to do at least so we'll, we'll first complete the first row now if you can see we have four rows and four columns right so let's complete the first row now if you want to copy the first row you will print this multiple times or you will write print four times okay let's do that so I will just copy it and we'll paste it here, we'll paste it here, we'll paste it here. So we got four prints, right? And if I run this code, oh, we got four hash, but then we want it in row format, right? Not in vertical format, I want horizontal format. So what is happening here is after every period, it is coming on new line. So the solution would be, we can give a comma and say, hey, don't just come on new line. So we can say end and double quotes. We can do the same thing for all the statement. Let us do it here. And now if I run this code, you can see we got four hash in one line. So this is what we got. We got the first block. Now what I want is I want four blocks, right? In fact, there's one problem with this code as well. We are writing the same statement four times. Don't you think it is weird? So the best option here would be, I want to do the same thing multiple times, right? So we can use a loop and I will be using a loop here, which is a for loop. So I will say for uh, reduce J in, you can use any variable name, right? We have discussed about that, but let's use J here. So for J in, I want to have a range of let's say four. Now when you say range of four, it will start from zero and it will end at three, right? I will give a colon. And now if you've done this, you've got the same output, right? So instead of typing four times, we can just use a loop. Let, let's say, so we got first row, right? I want the second row as well. So we can just copy this code because this will generate the second row, paste. So we are writing a for loop two times. So one for loop for first row and second for loop for second row. And if I run this code now, you can see we got, oh, we got eight hash, but then in one line. The thing is, we need to make sure that before second for loop, I want to come on new line, right? Let's run this. Oh, we got it. So we got, we got four rows or two rows on four, four columns. Okay, this works. In fact, if I do the same thing for third time, we will need to print, uh, print as well, the new line, so that, so, with that, so that we'll come on new line, right? So if I run this code, you can see we got three times. If I do the same thing, we got four times, but then there's an issue here. Don't you think we are doing same thing repeatedly? And when we know that if you want to do the same thing repeatedly, we'll do it only once, but then we will use a loop again. So the entire block, let me just give a tab. The entire block will come under another loop, which is in this case, I use a for loop i in range of four. So the entire block is a part of the another loop, right? So if I run this code now, Look at this, it's so simple, right? So this is how you, you learn about programming. This is how you learn about different logic. So what we are doing is we are printing hash, but multiple times. In total, we are printing hash 16 times. You can see uh, this loop runs 16 times. Let me just do it. So apply the breakpoint here. It's a debug and let's iterate. We'll say F8. You can see the value of I is zero. The value of J is zero and then it will print hash. And you can see in the console, we got the value one hash. Then the same loop will iterate. So the value of J becomes one, it will print hash. The value of J becomes two, it will print hash. The value of J becomes three, it will print hash. And now this is the fourth time, right? So it will go for, we got the fourth hash. Now it will jump outside the loop. And in fact, it will come on new line first. You can see it has, it will jump to new line now. And then the value of I becomes one. 
yeah? And then the, then the J value becomes zero to, again, it will start from zero to three. That's how it goes. And then we got four hash and then it will, it will send new line and then it will jump up. So these are, this is how thing works, right? It's so simple. Okay, now once we have done this, what if I want this pattern now? So in this, you can see, we don't have the perfect square. We have a, a triangle shape, right? So how would I do triangle? Now, if you concentrate here, look at the number of rows and columns. Because in the earlier version where we have the entire box, we were having four rows and four columns. So we can say this J represents the number of column you have and I represents the number of rows you have, right? Because J is responsible to print the column at the end. So now here in the triangle, you can see the number of columns in a particular row is dependent upon the row number. Right, so in the first row, we have only one hash. In the second row, we have two hash, right? So, so the number of hash is dependent upon the row number, right? So what you can do is you can control this range. So we have to say, hey, don't go till four because if you go till four, it will, it will print four hash. I want to go till I, okay? So I will go till I, if I run this code, oh, we got a triangle, okay? Because now we are not going at the end. We are going till only till I. So when the value of i is zero, you can see it is not printing any hash. This is an output for that. When your i value is one, it is printing one hash. When the value of i is two, it is printing two hash, right? But then this is something weird, okay? We wanted four, four hash at the end. The problem is the value of i starts with zero, right? So we will, we will go for one. So it should be i plus one. So when your i value is zero, it is actually first, I want one. So you can see we got four hash now. This is what we wanted. So this was the earlier pattern we had and now I want to go for the next pattern which is this one. Now you can see this is also triangle but in another way. What is different here is I'm printing the same triangle but in reverse order, right? The number of rows, okay, so in the first row we have four, in the second row we have three, in the third row we have two and then it ends with one. That means as your row number increases, your number of hash decreases, right? So what if you can say, four minus i now you'll be thinking what is this think about this when your i value is zero in that case the j will go till four right it will print four hash when your i value is two the value for j will be three right so it will print three hash so depending upon your i value it is printing those number of hash right so if i run this code you can see this is what you got right so this, this is how thing works here so this is how the another pattern we have worked with i hope you're enjoying this series let me know in the comment section and do subscribe for for the videos.